I just want to play. Oh, shot the sniper. Or pilot. I need, Probably choking on a I need my backup. <laughs> Probably. Two no scopes. Bam. Yo, 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 what is up, my peeps? It is DJ here. So, you want to know how to get the knockout? You want to be the cool kid on the block with the badass gun and the Mac 10 and all the fancy little gadgets? Well, it's too damn late because everyone's got this goddamn gun. Everybody was trying to get this gun. It is damn sexy, though. Look at that. I got me some green leopard on there. That's right, leopard. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to get this gun. Because I seen a video. Yeah, I, I, I'm making a video after I seen one. But I was confused by what I seen. And I am going to make my own because I put so much damn time into this. And uh, clarify a few things. Anyway, what we're dealing with here is the professional class. And what you got to do is you got to do a bunch of assignments that I got to admit is probably the hardest assignments I've ever done in any multiplayer game ever so time consuming and all that it's got all the same accessories that a normal gun has there's no other uh, uh, options for the barrel you get to stick with the silenced um, I think that's unfortunate but you know it'll still keep you silent but uh, the rest of the sights and the rest of the accessories are all the same for the knockout uh, the cool thing about the knockout is it really doesn't need any accessories other than the straight pull probably because it's a up close one shot kill almost every time uh, once you start scoping in at distance, then it's just about the same as any other sniper rifle, but up close, you're one-shot killing. Uh, so to check where the assignments are, you go into your battle log, here and under awards, and then under assignments, you can see where the, the, the exact missions are. And this is where I got a little confused on what I did. Not the first mission here. This one's very simple. You just got to get some bronze stars. You got to get some kills with both the sniper rifles and the laser trip mines. The second is pretty damn easy too. There's only one one little hang up on it. Again, you gotta just get some stars, you just gotta keep getting points and some more kills. But the camera coins, the camera coins are a little difficult, uh, only because everybody's doing it right now. Like if you were the only one putting up camera coins on a mission, then you would be golden. Uh, but as it stands, everybody and their mom is trying to get this gun, so the camera coins are just really it's not difficult to get, but it's just set it and forget it and hope you get enough. You need to get 10 intel assists within a single match for one coin. If you get 20, you get two coins and so on and so forth. I'll point out what you need to look for and a couple tips about that in a minute. But here is the part that confused me. The syndicate part of this, the pre-requirements. Before you get these, it's not highlighted, so you don't know exactly what to do, and that's kind of why I'm one of the clarifications I want to make out in this video, because everything I read was a little confusing. The first one is obvious. You need to get the second professional assignment done. Then you need to get 10 gadgets or guns within that class, and that's pretty simple as well. And you also need to get a golden class star, and that's pretty easy as well. You can either just play really good or you can run around in hot wire. That's pretty easy. The hard parts of this are going to be getting more camera coins, marksman coins, and probably even harder, the four tier reputation you need to gather in the professional class. That part right there was the most ridiculous. The rest of it's just tedious, but getting tier four reputation, you might have to get in one of those no killing hotwire servers. Uh, here's a couple tips on cameras, because there really is no magic to this, because uh, everybody's doing it. You can see all the other camera insignias around. Just look for heavy trafficked areas on a good TDM, 64 man TDM map, and place them down and they do the rest. This is what you want to look for, that IntelliSys right there. You get 10 of those within a match and you got yourself a coin. 
So the next thing you want to do while those are doing their job is look for headshots because you got to build up those marksman coins. And the way you get those is you got to get 250 meters worth of headshots. Now that's a cumulative. Oh, that's a good shot. So you can get 200 meter shots and a 50 meter shot. Uh, they have to be headshots, and it'll count for a marksman coin. So what you need to do for the marksman coins is find a place far away that you can get like long good shots on, like a good one out of the helicopter, for instance. But they don't always work like that. So what you want to do is get up on things, or say on block, if you got a good block match, you go down and look straight down the alleys. Those are always good long headshots. That's what you're looking for. And then eventually, eventually, you're going to get all the things you need. It's going to line up. It's such a big, long grind. I hated it. I hated it so much. But it happens. This is a great spot. Get up on the towers on Everglades. And just look at that. I get two coins within the matter of, what, 10 seconds? Because they're such long shots. And if you manage to get a headshot, they're just going to start building up like crazy. Now, once you get all 15 of your camera coins and all 15 of your marksman coins, you got to do the hard part. You got to get tier four reputation in professional. Keep in mind, you have to do it in professional. I messed up and did it on Enforcer for a match or two and ended up, yeah, building up the reputation for them, but it didn't count towards my professional. So don't make the mistake I did. I recommend using the reputation boost that you get out of packs. You can also have a buddy get in hacker and boost your reputation that way. I didn't experience that and I haven't even gotten into hack yet. What I did is I found a server that had a no-kill hotwire match and I still had my fun in it. <laughs> I didn't try and kill anybody, but I definitely ran around this tanker and ran him off the road for an hour or two uh, to finally get the, the last remaining Tier 4 reputation unlocks. It is almost impossible to not die before your next tier is unlocked, so I resorted to what I had to. And then finally, once it all lines up and you get your final kills and your final points and everything built up and all your goddamn coins, I'm never touching a camera again. You get your pro syndicate, you get your gold battle pack, and you get your knockout, baby. In all the process, you get the Mac-10. Mac-11? Mac-10. <laughs> and it is boss, too. Don't get me wrong. That thing is amazing. But the key point of this video is that knockout. Love that gun. You can toe-tap someone in the elbow up close, and they're dead. Ask Red. He doesn't like it. I was trying to iron sight. Oh. Buy him! Get quick, skull bitch! That fucking gun is stupid. <laughs> oh yeah. And there's this. Twice now he's fucking done that. Oh wow. <laughs> I shot a guy off the ladder and he went flying through the air.